Hello, Pastor Ben Engelson of Resurrection Lutheran Church, and the purpose of this brief video is to give you an update of this next phase of our worship life together, and also to give you some updates about some of our upcoming uh, children's ministry events, as well as congregation fellowship events, as well as service events we'll be doing as well. So thanks for watching, and I hope this video helps explain some of what's going to be coming up in the near future. Thank you for watching. Our new worship schedule begins April 18th. And so starting on April 18th, we will worship at 9.30. And so whether you're worshiping in the building or you're worshiping through our uh, YouTube page, all that will happen at 9.30 on Sunday morning. So the worship here in the sanctuary will be live. The, the preaching will be live. The reading of scripture will be live. The music will be live. So whereas in March, we were kind of using that pre-recorded video we made and we were watching it together, worshiping together through that in the sanctuary. We won't be using those pre-recorded videos anymore, but it will be live. And for our friends who are worshiping through our online uh, means, you will join us through our YouTube page and it will be a live stream of what's happening here inside the church. If you're not able to, to make the live stream right at 9.30, that's okay because that worship video remains available indefinitely. So 9.30 on Sundays is the key time now, whether you're worshiping in the building or through the live stream. Also looking ahead to um, our plan for kids ministries, how we'll come together and some of our, our fellowship, because you know one of the, the things that I, I think we enjoy about being Resurrection Lutheran Church is that the kids are very much part of our church life, as well as you know just uh, the joy that that comes along with you know the adults connecting while the kids are doing their thing. So our plan starting in May is that on the first Sunday of every month, we'll have an hour long uh, kids program, and that'll be right after the worship service. And ideally this will happen outside. Um, and it'll be kind of like an hour, of, there'll be some, some crafts, a Bible story, some songs, some prayer, some fun. And while the kids are doing that, you know, the adults can, can stand around and, and connect with each other at that time. And we'll also do a similar format on the third Wednesday of every month, and that will be in the evenings from six to seven. Uh, same, kids will have an opportunity to, to be together, nurture their faith life, uh, and adults can connect during that same time. I think during the summer, we'll also build on those Wednesday nights. So the kids will do their thing from six to seven, and then maybe starting at seven, we'll have something else that continues on a little bit more into the evening. Also each month, starting in May, there will be a meetup, right? The church will say, here's the time, here's the place. It might be one of the local parks. So you know, if you show up at that park at that time, at that place, you will find your friends in Christ there. The kids can do their things. Adults can uh, connect with each other at that time. And then we will have a service event each month as well. We will be volunteering quite a bit at the Northern Illinois Food Bank's uh, distribution center in Joliet. So all these dates, don't worry, you don't have to memorize, was that the first Sunday, third Wednesday, or was it the third Sunday for, like, this will all be on the church's calendar. But if you look at it holistically, Every month there will be four things that provide an opportunity for our, our kids to have their faith nurtured, an opportunity to connect with one another, as well as opportunities to serve within our community. So those will all start in May. In addition to the first Sunday of the month being uh, one of the Sundays when our kids will get together, I think we'll try to worship outside on those first Sundays of the month as well. Uh, if it's not going to be a good weather day, of course, we'll just move it inside. But uh, our worship experience outside under the trees was quite lovely. So we'll do that once a month this summer, starting in May. Okay, so I just want to share with you uh, that we're kind of going for sweet spots here. Because in some ways we're working with competing goals. Take worship, for example. If we have, on one hand, being as safe as we possibly can in light of the COVID pandemic, and on the other hand, worshiping wide open worship the way we want to worship, right? These are kind of like competing goals. So what happens is the more we pull towards 
as safe as we possibly can, the worship experience can suffer some. And the more we pull towards worshiping the way we want to worship, the safety can suffer. So we're kind of going for a sweet spot, right? That helps us to be safe in light of the COVID pandemic, right? So we're still wearing masks, we're still spacing out, we're still having some limits on how many people can gather at once. And we're still also trying to have a worship service that feels like worship. But because we're in a sweet spot, there's still some risk and there's still some room perhaps for what we desire for our worship to be like. So at this point, it seems like a sweet spot is what we can do. Similarly for our kids' ministries or how we do some of our fellowshipping and connecting with each other, right? There's those same poles of, you know, separate is the safest, together is what we want, and that sweet spot of what seems like a format that helps us to be together, but also um, reduce drastically the risk of COVID transmission. So as you're looking at the church calendar, as you're looking at what's going on, uh, please know we're, we're shooting for sweet spots, which allow us to do some things, but that also leave room for what we wish we could also be doing as well. That's just kind of the nature of where we're at this summer anyway. I guess lastly, a pastoral word of encouragement. Our Christian faith, our church, it's a communal faith. And our faith tends to be nurtured and strengthened and encouraged and inspired when we have a sense that we're part of something together. In this case, our mission of sharing God's love through Resurrection Lutheran Church. Um, and it's been a hard year for togetherness. It's in that regard been a hard year perhaps for our faith life as well. Uh, so to the extent that you can, especially uh, in light of the, the pandemic, um, I would encourage you to, to connect with the life of your church. Uh, show up, be there for each other. Show up at 930, whether it's here in the worship space or through the live stream. Uh, get the kids coming again to the kids ministry programs and get that that ball rolling again of church in person i've missed i've missed you especially this past year as we haven't been able to do these things things that have been uh, so essential to my faith life and uh, a large source of joy so i'm i'm hopeful for the emerging that's happening and i'm also hopeful for the ministry of our church and what we give to each other just simply by being there for each other. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being part of Resurrection Lutheran Church. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if parts of this didn't make sense, uh, please reach out to me or our congregation council and we can try to, to fill in the dots. But please know April 18th, this new schedule starts of Sundays at 9.30, either here in person in the church or through our live stream, or you can catch those worship videos uh, anytime after that. Check out the church calendar for all the uh, dates when all these different events will be happening. Thank you very much. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks for your support. And um, I'm glad we're church together.